Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Mighty warrior, great in battles. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. Thank you for joining in this broadcast. God bless you for tuning in. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. I believe you can hear my voice clearly. Please, I would, uh, I would ask that you identify yourselves and where you're watching from. Please type where you're watching from. I'm sure this broadcast is going to bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. You are listening to Apostle Charles Edozier. You are welcome. You are welcome. Please let me know where you are watching from. This broadcast is surely going to bless you. You are welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this opportunity. Please let me know where you're watching from. Good evening if you're watching from this part of the world where I reside. And good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are watching from. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now the Lord have laid a word in my spirit and I want to share it with you right now. Brosmat, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sister Marty Patterson, Peterson, sorry. <laughs> you're most welcome. Glad to have you here. Oh, hallelujah. I welcome you to this online fellowship. The word that I have brought is for somebody. And the person could be you. God wants to speak to you. Hallelujah. 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 Um, I, I unfortunately will not show my face in this broadcast. But I have all the tests on, uh, on the screen. So you're going to see. I want to talk to you for a couple of minutes. Um, the Lord spoke to me just a few hours ago and the word of the Lord that I received is still so heavy in my spirit. The Lord spoke to me and he said, What are you called to do? What are you called to do? Now, I must be very clear I must tell you clearly that the question the Lord asked was not just for me because I believe I'm in the center of my calling. I'm doing just what God wants me to do. But there are so many out there who don't know yet what they are called to do. Or, if I should say, um, they know what they are called to do, but they are doing nothing about their calling. I strongly believe that everybody in this world has a purpose. Everyone has a calling. There is a reason why you were born. Child of God, let me tell you, you are not a creation by accident you didn't came into the world by accident you're not on planet earth by accident god has a purpose for bringing you into this world 
there is something that God brought you into this world to do. You are not in this world to just follow others. You are not in this world to just sing the praise or the praises of others. There is something that God brought you into this world to do. You have a destiny. You have a purpose. You have an assignment on earth. Listen to me, people of God. Calling is not only when you are serving as a pastor. Calling is not only when you become ordained as a minister, as a prophet, apostle, or bishop. There are several other ways and several other things that God wants us to do with our lives. What are you called to do? What are you called to do? The Bible said that Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee. And there he found Peter and his brother Andrew. Wondering about Peter and his brother Andrew were busy with things that God did not assign them to do on earth. They were busy with other things until they met Jesus. We read in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. I'm going to pull the Bible verse to the screen to the screen right now so you can see. The book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. The Bible says that Jesus saw Peter and his brother Andrew and he said unto them, Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men. Now listen, this is what the Lord laid in my spirit. You are not called for yourself. You are called for others. There are destinies attached to to whatsoever God called you to do in this life. There are destinies attached to your calling. There are destinies attached to your assignment. Come and I will make you fishers of men. Fishers of men. So you can go and rescue men. So you can go and pull men out of the ocean of confusion. So you can go and pull men out of darkness into the light. Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. Now, their assignment automatically became to save men. What are you called to do? Many of you watching me right now know why you are called, knows exactly what you are called to do, but you are doing nothing about it. You are just relaxed. You are too lazy to do what God has assigned to you on earth. What are you called to do? Are you called to be a preacher? Are you called to sing? What are you called to do? I want you to know that we don't have much time on earth. We don't have much time on earth. People of God. It is time we wake up to our true purpose on earth it is time we wake up and do what god wants us to do 
Stop running away from your calling. Stop running away. The Lord wants you to just make a step. The grace of God will accompany you. The anointing of the Holy Spirit will make things easy for you. What are you called to do? Now, this is a wake up call. The Lord is in need of your service. The Lord is in need of your service. There's no time to lose, people of God. Start today. Start today. Start today. Start today. Whatever God has called you to do, any assignment God has given you, somebody watching me right now, you have a prison ministry. You have a prison ministry. The Lord has called you to go to prisons and preach to inmates. You did it once and you stopped. God has sent me to tell you to return to service. The prison ministry that God has given to you, you have to start again. Start today. Start today. Start today. The Lord has sent you to prisons so you can go and preach to those who are there. To go and convert criminals. To whatever purpose you have on earth, to whatever mission God has given you, there are destinies attached. There are a lot of people who will not see the light unless you begin to manifest. There are so many people who will not be saved unless you preach to them. There are so many people who will die before their time unless they see the light that you radiate. Start today. There is no time to lose. Now, I'm not doing um, my usual teachings or preaching. I just want to drop this word for someone. I don't know who you are, but I believe this message will get to you. Start today. Start today. And now before I end this video, I would like to pray for you. That God may give you grace to do what you've been called to do. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. You need the grace of God. You need the power of God. You need the Spirit of the Lord to empower you to do whatever God has called you to do. Jesus said to them in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8, He said, And you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Somebody watching this right now, you need the Spirit of God to fall afresh on you. And after you've received the Holy Spirit, power, power will come upon you. Anointing will flow. The work will be easy for you. Start today. Whatever God has called you to do, just start today. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know who you are, but hear me and hear me well. The Lord is about to use you as a vessel unto honor. Some of you watching me right now has incredible healing ministries. A lot of you watching me right now has gift of prophecy. A lot of you watching me right now, the Lord has endowed you with great potentials. I want to pray for you to unlock those. I want to pray for you. So you begin to manifest your light in this generation. You will not die unfulfilled. 
you will not die unfulfilled you will not die unfulfilled in the name of Jesus now if you just had what I said I'm going to advise that you type um, if you know what God has called you to do just type it in the comment section let me know the challenges you are facing with doing what God has called you to do if you want to send me a private message you can send me a whatsapp message I will respond to you I will speak with you I'll pray for you I'll put you on fasting if necessary and I'm going to impart you with grace anointing and power you will do exploit for the Lord people have said you are a nobody can any good thing come out of Nazareth they said concerning Jesus when they heard the rumor of the great king the great one the anointed one performing signs and wonders and miracles doing marvelous things someone said can any good thing come out of Nazareth but Jesus <laughs> eventually came out of the place where they said nothing good will come from maybe nobody in your family has ever succeeded you will be the first to succeed maybe nobody in your family has ever achieved anything tangible you will be the first to achieve you'll be the first to exile you'll be the first to make it i mean the lord is going to do marvelous things through you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah now let me pray for you if you know you are called not just to be a minister you are called to do something there's something that you know god called you to do on earth but you are finding it difficult to do that very thing i want to pray for you now and this prayer is going to help you a lot this prayer is going to enable you to do exactly what god wants you to do maybe your problem is discouragement the people around you are not this are not encouraging you at all they discourage every single move you make and there is somebody watching me right now your zeal your zeal is gone because people used to ridicule you people used to laugh at you hear the word of the Lord all those people were not there when you were called and they, are, they, they, they can never imagine what God can do through you. They were not there when you were called. And what God is going to do through you, they can't predict. The Lord is going to wow them. Hallelujah. So let me pray for you right now as I end this video. In the name of Jesus I pray for you as many that are watching me right now that are called to do one thing or the other in this generation in this world as many of you that the Lord has called as many of you that the Lord have sent but due to the challenges of the world you are not doing what you are supposed to do due to the challenges of the world you are struggling to fulfill your assignment you are struggling to accomplish your task on earth i pray for you right now may the anointing of the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit enable you to begin in the name of jesus christ every power that says you will not fulfill your destiny on earth hear me child of god the power is destroyed 
the power is destroyed the power is destroyed in the name of jesus christ whatever you are called to do i pray for you in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit you will find it easy to do if you are called to sing and to usher people into the presence of god through worship and praises receive the anointing to do so more effectively in the name of jesus if you are called to preach receive the oil that makes preaching easy in the name of jesus if you are called to cancel others or maybe you are called to even be a nurse a doctor because those in the medical field are also called listen listen nursing is a ministry nursing is a ministry medical practice is a calling i pray in the name of jesus that the lord may grant you the enablement the ability to do what you have been called to do maybe you are a footballer you've tried all you can to shine to be signed by a club but all your effort have failed hear me the door is opening for you if you are a footballer watching me right now <laughs> you are favored you are favored today is your lucky day the door is opened for you the door is open the door is opened in the name of jesus christ i bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit it is well with you in jesus mighty name amen and amen now in case you are just joining us in this broadcast i will advise you to replay just go back to the very beginning of this broadcast to understand what we are talking about and everything i've just said in this broadcast it is well with you i will see you again soon take care of yourself god bless you and bye